Hello there, everybody. I'm Mr. GamePie, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Advance 3. In the last two episodes, we've been working on getting 100% on the game, and today we're finishing it up. We just gotta go back to the final regular boss battle here. And show off the fact that you can homing attack, because that's a thing you can do. And, you know, we got Jimral here. We fought him. Beat him as per normal. And then we got the regular final boss here. He's pretty much a joke if you've got Cream as your partner. The hands! Yep, that's right. Robotnik has the power of Master Hand and Crazy Hand. That's the part where you're supposed to stay on the hands to get up there to, ha to attack him. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, you can actually jump up there with Cream's help. Okay, cheese is not doing the thing. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's... Yep, yep, that's the end. You do need to be careful to not be underneath the hands whenever they slam the platforms down, because that is an endless pit under there. That is dangerous. But yeah, once you have all the Chaos Emeralds, you're going to pay and you beat me. the final boss with Sonic as the leader, something special happens. Jimroll does the thing. In Emerald's programming, there's something that says whenever you get all the Chaos Emeralds, go crazy and destroy the world. And this programming clearly made it into Jimroll as well. Oh man, well, we've got the awesome music going on! In Sonic Battle, the final fight against Emerald was just as regular Sonic. But here we've got Super Sonic to do the job. And Robotnik, too! Yeah, yeah, I get the gold. But this is more important. Non-aggression! The final battle in the game is played with Supersonic and Robotnik as a team. Yep. Oh, that, that was bad. As per the norm with Supersonic battles, you've got to make sure that, you know, you don't get hit. And you got to collect rings and oh my gosh. Honestly, this, this is one of the few parts of the game that I didn't practice beforehand. You can uh, unleash Robotnik upon Jimroll before he's fully charged up like this, but if you do, he won't stay open as long. Of course, the main danger in this battle is just keeping all your rings. Oh yeah, that does hurt you. Okay, Jimroll, are you done? Please. This is, this is an unnecessary amount of time you're spending doing this. There we go. Well, you might want to charge Robotnik up to full power. It is reasonable to just charge him up a little bit. Oh, that was bad. Assuming you know that you can get the hit in on him. Like right now, this is a pretty solid time to get the hits on him. Oh. Yeah, there we go. I got it. I actually got two hits on him that time. Oh, yep. Yeah, then he homes on you. Fortunately, while Robotnik does trail behind you, he can also grab rings himself. This is pretty much just free charge. Nope, it isn't. Okay, now it is. Now it is free charge time. This actually isn't the best place to be. Now, I have to get onto the other side of him. Oh, that's right. You have to actually hit the eye for the charging to matter at all. 
flying through Jim Roll's arm tentacle things isn't a problem whenever you're in boost mode. Nope! Got him! Alright, I think only another hit or two should do. Oh. Gotta be careful about this. Okay. That's good. Come on, General, you're almost dead. Oh, he is dead. Yay! Sonic and Dr. Robotnik, extra zone clear, gold medal. I think it's a pretty good final boss. The final bosses of the other Sonic Advance games always felt pretty generic and uninteresting, but this one had some pretty good flair with you teaming up with Dr. Robotnik and fighting Jimroll. It was pretty solid, and of course we had a special ending here. You see that Robotnik flies off as per normal. And all the animals are happy, and for some reason Knuckles is not here. Okay. Oh. Sonic's gonna continue going on in his Sonic way. Oh, there's Knuckles. Gonna be guarding the Master Emerald. But yeah, clearly the world has been restored to its normal place now. And we actually get a special ending much like the classic Sonic games, where you, you know, watch Sonic and friends go through certain levels. But yeah, there was one thing that I said the very first episode of this series, where I said that uh, Jimroll was a brainwashed Emerald. I had a, at least one person at this point explain that that wasn't the case. Jimroll is just a completely new robot, but I think that this ending here kind of shows that that isn't the case, because... Clearly, the programming that Emerald had to just destroy the world or take over the world whenever uh, all the Chaos Emeralds were in his possession was still there. Which means that I think it's reasonable to say that while Emerald's body is certainly not Jimroll's body, Emerald's programming certainly did make it into Jimroll. And then, of course, we have the ending here, which basically what they're doing right now is they're making Jimroll Emerald again. As you can see here, he's friendly, he's good again. Now, there isn't a whole lot of extrapolation on this point, because, I mean, we don't ever see Jimroll again. We don't really hear anything about Emerald again in general, so it's pretty vague, but I think that it's reasonable to say that at this point, Jimroll is Emerald, just in a different body. But yeah, with that, that's the end of the series. I've had a lot of fun making this series, I've got to say. Sonic Advance 3 is a very important game in my childhood, and it seems like it doesn't get very appreciated. But I really enjoy it. It's really, it really is a game that you just need to sit down, play a while, play for maybe an hour or two, every day, every other day, for about maybe a few weeks. And that's, that's how you should really get 100%. Tried out different things, different, experiment with different character combinations. I mean, I know people that have just played like Sonic and Tails practically the entire time, and they like try to get the Chow on the Chaos Emeralds as fast as possible. And if you're really trying to play that way, I can understand how this game can be very tiring after a while, but that, I don't see why you would play that way. <laughs> There's a lot of options in the game, and, and just doing that alone just uh, seems. You're, you're like just scratching the surface of what the game has to offer, really. But yeah, I think that it's really fun. It's a game that really helped me get through some strange times in my childhood, I'd say. Definitely some boring times. Lots of road trips, lots of visits to grandparents, all sorts of stuff like that. And, uh, you know, maybe one of these days they'll re-release the Sonic Advance games. Maybe they already have, and I just haven't heard about it yet. And uh, if they do, 
I don't know about Saga Vance 1, I never played that game, but Saga Vance 2 is not a game that I'd recommend. Very annoying. But then we got Saga Vance 3 here, and I would highly recommend it. I mean, I know that whenever they re-released Kirby the Amazing Mirror to the Virtual Console, they didn't add in its multiplayer, which is terrible, because the multiplayer is kind of what makes that game awesome. But if you do get to play, if I'd like it if they didn't do that with Sonic Advance 3 as well, because the multiplayer of this game is also really good. It's also fairly important to the quality of the game, not as much, but it's still a really good aspect of the game that I think people should have a chance to try out. I've always liked this picture at the end here, where Jim Rolls just got Cream holding on to him. He's got the bird, it's just like... For a while there, he was this killer robot, but now he's a good guy. And I really wish Jim Roll would appear in more games, because... He's a pretty cool character. I mean, he can copy characters' abilities. He kind of has his own little super form. It's a really awesome time, and... It's just... He doesn't appear. He doesn't appear anywhere. He, not even, like... Sonic Chronicles. I would have thought that Jim Roll would appear in Sonic Chronicles because his robot model, the Gizoids, are actually pretty important to that game at certain points. But uh, no, he doesn't. He doesn't appear. I don't. I don't even know if he was mentioned. I'm pretty sure that Emerald was mentioned, but I don't think Jim Roll was. But yeah. Anyway, until next time, I've been Mr. Game Pie, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.